Yeah, hello. I was scrolling through some of the custom maps that were recently uploaded to the Shutter's modding Discord and came across this one by Jerry Lee 95 No idea if there's any actual resemblance to Area 51 in this map. I, I mean, that's hard to gauge because nobody really knows what's in Area 51 except a lot of sand. There's no sand here, but we'll, we'll test it out. Also, a new map importer got released, which I have yet to check out. Yeah. Oh, that looks really nice. You can go ahead and change the ambiance. Look at... Wow. Man, the sun and moon rotation, the light intensity, skybox exposure. You're now given the opportunity to change a lot of different settings within the ambiance of this game, as well as create ambiance presets within your custom map. So if I click on area 51 here, I should spawn in the map. Oh, it's like a little lightning bolt there. Holy cow. Look at the Swiss Alps in the distance there. Oh, wow. So I think we're currently on space day. Nice. If we go to Green Valley right. Wow. Oh. I'm a Martian. Chicken pox loaded up on all the little spheres. Got loads of different rails going all over the place. My drone is kind of... I'm uh, kind of getting hijacked. I can't I can't go up. Look at the moon. Oh, this is crazy. I want to check out just a few more. We have Alp Valley. Oh, that looks kind of... Kind of cool, a little bit lighter. You have default, nice, that's default. Space Knight. Space Knight is really nice. You can really see the neon blowing off some of those tubulars up there. And just a couple more red sky. Wow, that is a red sky. Glacier blue, wow. Man, I can't get over this. We gotta get to the riding here. Let's check out this course, but I wanna swap it over to Space Knight. Nice. Oh, wow. Let's see if we can go back to 70. Nope. Want to hit this one. 270 up onto it, maybe. I'll pop over 180. Swap 270 out. Oh. <laughs> no. Oh, man. That was sick. Oh, getting the Wildcat up, going backboard, popping out forward. That's looking real nice. But you know what else is nice? Becoming your own hockey manager. World Hockey Manager allows you to create and control your own hockey club. Develop talents, train your players, and scout for new signings. Build your arena and facilities to improve over time. Make your team ready to face other teams worldwide. And the daily ranked games in tournaments. The game's free to play on iOS and Android, and I think the game's great because it does what it's supposed to. It lets you be a hockey manager. Instead of purely watching aimless game simulations, you can create strategies that give your team the upper edge. Change your player lines, adjust their ice time priority. You are in charge. And if you're still not excited, get ready for the WHM World Cup. It consists of national 24-hour group stage grind tournaments taking place in the first week of the real world World Cup, where the number one team for each each of the 13 listed countries qualify. And starting May 12th, every user will be able to play through the brand new legendary player mission and claim their very own Art Ross card. For your chance to be one of the greatest hockey managers this planet has ever seen, click the link in the description below to download World Hockey Manager today. Plus, when you use code Steep Steep in the Redeem Voucher section, you'll be gifted 100 coins for free instead of having to pay the eight bucks. WHM, thank you for sponsoring the video. Now there's a bunch more jibs down that canyon on the right side, but I wanna check out this side of the little golly here. Well, just because I think this is where the main park leads to. That was a really nice 630 nose out. Yeah, look at that. How do I get up there? Different spawn point, I think. Maybe the summit. Oh, wait. I saw a jump. Jump line. Halfway. Is this it? Oh! <laughs> Yo! Big old piece sticking right out of the snow there. That's nice to look at. Looks like you can treat it as kind of like a tap jib feature. It's not a cannon rail, so we're just going to have to tap it with our tail or nose. Yeah. Oh, that was sick. Kind of cork 90 out. If I can pop that on axis, it's going to look real nice. Okay, wildcat in. Yeah, open up slightly. Beautiful. What if I pop a little bit cork off the takeoff to get the proper axis? We didn't bonk it. Well, we did, but it didn't register the sound. I think we did actually get a proper bonk that time. Missed that one just slightly. I'll keep going. That was almost the case. Oh, there it is. Big old dome tap. Pop out forward. Decent. A little bit back seat, but made it work. Next one. Oh, just piercing the dome right over top of it slightly. I'm going to go off to the left side here and treat this as a jump. Big front side nine. Decent. 
And I think that's the end of at least that section. There's a bunch of neon signs down this way, though. Oh, is this all just rails and jibs again? Dude, the lighting here is fantastic. I don't know what took longer creating the textures or the actual features themselves. Drift, dub, stiffy it out. Oh, beautiful popping out switch there. Really good looking stun. Massive turbo tube over this way. Try and do something a bit more mellow. Just trying to go triple tame dog on. Oh. <laughs> Man, that looked rancid. Let's just pop out forward now. That did not look nice. That was not worth the time. Now we made our way over to the X Games course. It looks like he just threw every single professional event into this course here. Now there's a Volcom set up on some feature set. This is crazy. Let's swap over the ambiance before we keep going. Smoky day. <laughs> Try and go half cab 50-50. Little overshifty with it. Oh, grabbing melon, that was nice. Locked on, single wild cat out, open up. It's gonna make my heart explode. You got this flat down rail over on the right side, trying disaster to the down, maybe. Gotta carve up way harder on the right side. Maybe a big front lip on it. Whoa! Didn't quite make it to the down, but we got the front lip. Pop out switch, a little under rotated. The course just keeps going. This is incredible. Haven't done a single butter yet. Yeah, that's probably why, but wow, look at that. Oh, that was beautiful. Methoda, the backboard, pop out, 50-50. Lock the Wildcat in again. I think we're going to be gapping over some helicopters here. Sure. Wow, the blade is also a feature. Of course it is. This is an incredible course, Jerry. Jerry, you outdid yourself. It just keeps going. It does not stop. <laughs> Go dub 12. Oh, beautiful. Front side double cork 1260. Hold the stiffy. Big stun right there. See if we can pop up backside triple. Oh, I completely missed the set and my grab. But almost got a back trip 12 set. Try that again. There's the triple. Tuck it. Trip 16 20. Four and a half spins on that one. Oh, this jump line goes on forever. It looks really sick with the ambiance in the background there. That big green valley. Oh, mellow it out now. Big backside one. Tweak out the melon grab. And then finish it off. I don't know, bud. That was, that was horrendous. Let me try and butter it. Yeah, uh, caught my edge. I do want to find like one heavy feature to try and challenge myself on. I mean, this whole park in itself is incredibly difficult and challenging. But I want to find, you know, the one. Oh, I think I found it. You have this flat bar gap to down, and it's in the center of this toilet bowl rail. I don't want to hit the toilet bowl, but I want to try and get a Tokyo Drift to front board slide on this first down bar, pop a backside 180 swap, grab a nose, maybe tail, all the way down to the down bar, land in a back board slide, and pop out 270. I think that's possible. Okay, Tokyo. Nice. Grab nose, 180 swap, 270 out. First try, that, that was it. It's not the most difficult combo, but that looked disgusting. We can clean it up. Oh. A lot of other map creators have also gone back to their old maps to add in this new ambiance customization so we can see a lot more pretty sunrises and sunsets. One of them being streets, debatably the coolest urban map ever created in this game. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's it, proper nighttime here. I think we should be able to see the moon somewhere as well. There it is. Oh, the colors are immaculate. Let's see if I can get a proper line down to that central district. Methoda on the 180. Switch backboard, pop out forward. 
270 up. Nice. 270 out, please. It was kind of 90 swap, 50, 50, 180 out. Front board, popping out switch. Nice. Now, one of the best spots in this entire map is this massive staircase in the middle here because you have these huge double downs. I don't play around with butters too much, so it'd be really sweet to try and get a nosebud 630 disaster onto the last down of this left double down. I think it's possible with a good attitude. First attempt, blast it. Not so good. Oh! Wow! Could have been a little bit cleaner. I came in carving really hard and I wanted to pop it out forward, not bring it back to switch. So I'll give it another go, but that was only three attempts in. Oh, that's it. 